Hello, I am Adam. And I am Philip. Welcome to the Griffin Podcast. We would like to thank everyone who listened to our first podcast and for the wonderful feedback. This week, we have a great lineup of lunches. On Monday, November 16th, we have Asian macaroni and beef. For vegetarians, tofu lentil stew. On Tuesday, we have chicken tenders, yum, and quinoa cakes with tomato chickpea relish for vegetarians. For Wednesday, we have cheese tortellini with rosé sauce. Thursday and Friday, we have no lunch service due to parent-teacher interviews. Great point, Philip. We have early dismissal on Thursday at 11.15 and no school Friday. Students are to attend Zoom parent conferences. Check up with your parents to make sure they are signed up for your interviews. Some exciting news from Sunday was the launch of NASA SpaceX at NASA. SpaceX is founded and funded by Elon Musk. SpaceX is moving ahead with what it hopes to be a regular flight to the space station carrying full contingents of astronauts for extended stays. In May, a test flight to the International Space Station was successful. Now on to our birthdays of the month of November. On the 17th, we have Ryan Busetta. On the 18th, we have Mr. Churchill's birthday. On the 26th, we have both Xavier Court and Jordan Singer's birthdays. On November 28th, it is Mr. Kilbridge's birthday. And on the 29th, we have Andrew Dams. Don't forget to wish these people a very happy birthday the next time you see them. Next up, we have an interview with Miss Dalton on what it's like to teach during a global pandemic. Are you nervous to come to school every day? Hi, Adam. Hi, Philip. Thank you for having me. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I'm not actually nervous to come to school every day since I feel as though our school has put in a lot of uh, safety measures. And I think that on the most part, there is a lot of respect from both students and teachers and other people in the school. Does your home life affect your school life? And does your school life affect your home life? That's a great question. I think for everybody, uh, it's it is something that does affect either my home life or school life. Since we are all humans, we can't necessarily just turn off one part of our lives and focus on another. Uh, so yes, I would say that my home life can affect my school life and vice versa. Okay, so I just wanna ask, has COVID-19 made your job harder? Uh, that's a great question. In ways, my job has become more challenging. Uh, of course, there are various measures that we need to consider that we haven't in the past, such as uh, making sure that students have sanitized their hands and their workspaces, uh, as well as monitoring students while they eat lunch, or um, even just monitoring students while they are in their classes. Now. Has the behavior of your students been affected by this pandemic and the new restrictions brought along with it? That's also a great question. Just going back to my previous answer, uh, since students are essentially kept in the same classroom all day, I feel as though it's a little bit more of a challenge to manage. Uh, if you take anybody and put them in the same room for the entire day, then it becomes very long, very tiring, and of course the students become a little bit more tired. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to say focus in class. What are some things you missed due to COVID-19? Any trips, any events? Uh, so during the beginning of COVID-19, I was still on maternity leave with my most recent son. And we were scheduled to go for a trip to Ireland in May. Of course, that did not happen, and it will be postponed until some future date. That's very disappointing. And uh, now, what are the new opportunities brought from this pandemic? What, what if, where's the light in it? What have you enjoyed about this pandemic? I've enjoyed spending a lot more time with both of my sons, uh, just being able to spend morning to night with them. 
That's mm-hmm. really nice. But what are some things you want to do after COVID-19 ends? Uh, when COVID-19 ends, I would love to be able to visit family, to visit my parents, have my uh, parents visit their grandchildren. Uh, those are the things I'm most looking forward to. We would really like to thank you for everything you've been doing in school, uh, coming in every day and making the students smile and learn new things. We really do appreciate you coming on. Thank you for coming here with us for this podcast. Ah, thanks for having me, guys. Our Google form has been opened up from just a song submission to anything creative. If you have a recipe, you have a, a recipe you've made, or a book, a poem, or a song you've created, you can submit it via our Google form. And once a week, a person will be selected to be interviewed by Philip and me. Also, your song will be played as a piece of our podcast. Seven three is off on an adventure today. They will be at Mount Royal surviving in the wilderness. Seven two will be out Tuesday and seven one on Wednesday. The grade eights will be going next week. Hopefully no one gets attacked by a bear. Haha. Ha. Today is International Day for Tolerance, National Button Day, and National Fast Food Day. So after school, you should order some fast food and button down shirts with your friends. Remember to wear your mask, stay safe, and please stay in your pods. And thanks for listening.